Hello everyone, I'm Kazunari Yamauchi, producer of the Gran Turismo series. Today I'm here to give you an update on our latest game, Gran Turismo 7, releasing March 4th, 2022. Over its 25-year history, the Gran Turismo series has demonstrated a serious love and respect for cars. What's more, Gran Turismo 7 represents the 25th anniversary of the series. Gran Turismo 7 will represent the pinnacle of the GT journey. We think of it as our most complete GT to date. We have designed GT7 so that those who have never come into contact with automotive culture until now can really get to know the deep, rich world of cars. Our aim was to create a driving simulator that all players can enjoy. Whether you're a hardcore Gran Turismo fan or brand new to the series, I think Gran Turismo 7 will be enjoyable for everyone. The history of cars is long, and the world of cars is massive, with lots of attractive cars contained within. For GT7, we have prepared over 400 cars from automobile brands around the world. We've also prepared 34 locations from around the globe with over 90 layouts. And more tracks and cars will be added in future online updates. Now let's take a closer look at the GT7 player experience. Here's the new map screen. The map is a menu that allows access to the various features in Gran Turismo 7. Our inspiration here was to create a paradise, almost a vacation resort that celebrates car culture. When you begin the campaign, you'll use provided in-game credits to purchase a compact car. You'll then progress through the campaign by participating in races, unlocking new cars, and by tuning and upgrading your vehicles for better performance. This is ultimately the classic GT campaign mode, but GT7 has more to offer. One new feature is the Gran Turismo Cafe. This will be the center of the map in Gran Turismo 7. Here at the cafe, players will be given a car collection menu. You'll complete each menu by winning races and championships while exploring this car resort. Sometimes, the people who actually design those cars will appear to talk about the design in person. By completing menus for a variety of car collections at the cafe, players will naturally come into contact with the history of cars and the culture behind them. Grand Central is a shopping mall where a player can purchase new cars. Here, players can purchase roughly 300 car models from 2001 and later. 
Automotive manufacturers from around the world have assembled here. And not only are there showrooms for purchasing cars, there's also a museum for each manufacturer where you can learn about the history of individual brands. This is a museum of Porsche. And it begins with the birth of Dr. Ferdinand Porsche, establishing his own design firm. Gran Turismo 7 also houses a world of used cars. At the used car dealer, players can purchase cars for more affordable prices. However, some very popular used cars may be sold at an even higher price than when they originally came out. These include the Japanese sports cars of the 90s that are seeing a big boom in popularity worldwide. This car lineup will be updated and changed slightly every day. Certain iconic cars have marked their names in the history books. Even after a hundred years, their allure will never fade. The legendary car dealership specializes in these types of famous vehicles. In the world circuit, you'll have access to a variety of tracks. At launch, GT7 will feature 34 locations and over 90 layouts. This includes real-world and fantasy circuits. Legendary fantasy tracks from past GT games such as Trial Mountain, Deep Forest and High Speed Ring return for GT7 with stunning modern visuals. There are various races and championships hosted at each track. And the circuit experience activity can help you learn these tracks. In the custom race mode, you can combine things like weather conditions and AI cars of your choice to create personalized races. Gran Turismo is well known for its license tests. Many people look back and remember how hard they tried to achieve gold results in this mode. Naturally, GT7 includes license tests where you can learn driving techniques from the ground up. Here, there are many short mini-games that teach you these skills. Mission races is where you'll find unique events beyond typical races and time trials. For example, here is drag racing. You'll need to tune your car for more power, while also remembering the importance of throttle control from a standing start. There are also drift trials where players compete using their drifting techniques. There are several ways to play and interact with other players in GT7. First, there is a two-player split screen that you can play together in your living room with family and friends.
Second, there are lobbies and meeting places that you can enjoy with your friends online. Finally, in sport mode, you can enjoy serious racing with players all over the world. Completely recreating beautiful cars is the essence of the Gran Turismo series. The PlayStation 5 version of GT7 features photorealistic graphics using ray tracing. Ray tracing aims to more accurately depict lighting and reflections. But the application that is most suited for may actually be in the expression of cars. This is because the shiny surfaces of cars reflect the world around them. With ray tracing, the graphics of Gran Turismo make a jump into the next dimension. The color of the skies and the shape of the clouds you see every day are determined by the energy of the sun, the earth itself, and the condition of the atmosphere that surrounds it. If you look at it on a global scale, air containing moisture from the oceans flows into the continents. That air is warmed by the earth's surface, heated by the sun, which produces ascending air currents. The air containing moisture will continue to rise in altitude due to this current, and once at a certain altitude and temperature, it creates the clouds you see in the sky. In GT7, we have simulated the process of how these clouds are formed. Based on a vast amount of meteorological data, temperatures, humidity, and air pressure specific to each region, Skies in Japan will change like they do in Japan, and skies in California will change as they do in California. The Gran Turismo series has always placed an importance on starlit skies at night. In GT7, we have aimed for an even higher quality of expression. Starry skies seen in specific locations at certain dates and times will be drawn using a simulation that includes not just stars, but even planets. The moon will rise and set in the same way that the sun rises and sets. The color of the stars will change depending on whether the atmosphere is clear or hazy. Time changes and weather simulations are expressed in the scenery and light. These factors can affect atmospheric and surface temperatures. And by doing so, affect the tire grip, engine power, and strength of the slipstream effect, integrating with the automotive physics simulation. It rains and the surface becomes wet. Puddles form in locations that are prone to them. The rain ends, and the surface starts to dry from the areas that tend to dry first. The areas with puddles will remain wet the longest. And these kinds of changes will occur naturally. One simple example of this weather simulation is the rain cloud radar that many players will be familiar with. Players can look at this display and predict the coming weather to a certain extent. 
On a huge circuit like the Nürburgring, it can rain on one part of the track while being sunny on a different section. Gran Turismo is a real driving simulator, but we always place the same level of importance in being able to watch your driving in a replay as we have with the fun of driving. This high quality replay mode is also present in GT7. We have developed a new music replay that dynamically generates a replay camera to match the background music. Unlike past replay modes where the cameras were fixed on the track, camera positions and image cuts are now generated randomly every time to match the music, allowing you to enjoy a different camera replay every time you run it back. Now, let's show you part of the music replay. Automotive physics simulation in Gran Turismo has 25 years of history. Our team gathers feedback from many expert advisors, including Lewis Hamilton, top drivers of the FIA GT Championships, and our technical partners at Michelin. This feedback fuels our automotive simulation, which means that track lap times are consistent to their real-life counterparts, and that the driving experience accurately reflects fine sensations. The effects of front and rear vehicle height changes on a car, the effect of wind direction at a circuit, and slipstream effects are all recreated through an aerodynamic simulation using CFD. To fully express reality, devices that can convey information that goes beyond graphics and sound are very important. This is the reason for adaptive triggers and haptic vibrations. Thanks to the adaptive triggers and haptic vibration capabilities of the DualSense wireless controller, we're able to enhance the player's level of immersion on the PS5 console. The adaptive triggers will allow your fingertips to feel the vibrations of a tire locked state while braking. When a real car goes into a corner with too much speed, the front tires will be felt on the steering wheel. With GT7 and the DualSense controller combined, it will be possible to feel the state of the front tires in the form of vibrations. With the DualSense controller, you'll feel as if you're holding the steering wheel of a real car, feeling the track underneath. On the PS5 console, 3D audio expresses the positions of various sound sources and their movements in a 3D space. In real life, we can perceive where a sound is coming from. 
Whether it's from the left or right or the front, we can identify when a sound is above us or behind us. We sense the fine differences in sound affected by the shape of our head, our earlobes, and the difference in the speed at which sound reaches our left and right ears in order to determine where that sound is coming from. 3D audio is a technology that recreates these sensations. Here's a quick demonstration of some of the sounds of GT7. The tuning shop also returns in Gran Turismo 7. We have prepared approximately 60 types of performance parts per car. By combining these, you can change the performance and overall driving experience as you like. Let's actually try it then. This is a first generation Volkswagen Beetle. The people's car, designed by Dr. Ferdinand Porsche, is a rear engine car, which is fairly rare nowadays. Let's try tuning this car. While tuning involves changing a car's performance, car customization at GT Auto allows you to change its appearance. Over 650 aerodynamic parts, 130 types of wheels, 1200 colors of measured paint data, you can go on forever with the numbers. But there are several dozen types of parts per car, totaling to several thousand customization parts. You can even install roll cages and do wide body modifications. The livery editor for decorating and painting cars has also evolved. You can now apply stickers to areas that did not allow sticker placement in the past. The limit to the number of stickers that can be applied to the cars has also been increased. GT Auto will include your familiar car wash and oil changes as well.
Escapes offers a new world of photography and is in a mode where you can travel the world with your favorite car. You can place the car of your choice in over 2,500 spots around the globe and take cutting-edge HDR photos. By combining true-to-life light information with photo effects, this mode allows high-level photographic expressions that are mostly impossible in real-life photography. The race photo mode allows you to photograph races you've participated in. Going to a real circuit to take photographs is a lot of work, but in GT7, you can photograph dynamic, beautiful shots that even professional photographers would struggle to take with much greater ease. Gran Turismo 7 is also a creative tool our players can use to produce various content. Replays, photographs taken in-game, livery designs, and more. The Showcase is a place where this content can be shared for other players to download. Finally, please settle in for a look at some new Gran Turismo 7 gameplay. Our closing segment shows two new features added to Gran Turismo 7. The Music Rally, where you enjoy music while you drive, and the Music Replay, that syncs replays to music. These are all real-time images captured on the PlayStation 5 console.
Thank you for watching. See you on the track on March 4th, 2022.